Hi, Webload to this quick overview of Webload load testing tool. So Webload is comprised of a few different uh, modules. The Webload IDE is where we create and edit record scripts. The Webload console is where we execute the scripts. The Webload dashboard, which, which is what we have now here, which is the web-based monitoring and viewing sessions module, and Webload analytics for reporting and analytics. So I'll start with the Webload ID to show you how we create a script. Script creation usually goes through the following steps as described here, recording, correlation, validation, and parameterization, which I'm going to show you very quickly. So recording is where you open your website and you follow the steps that you normally would. As the script is being created, I can create transactions for my actions. Once the script is recorded, uh, Webload asks us to run a correlation. So correlation is handling those dynamic values, session IDs, that you can't just play back again and again. They, they are changed, they are dynamic. Webload has a very powerful uh, correlation engine that automatically discovers most of these values, and the ones that it doesn't, we, have a, we can define rules that would handle them. Now that you have the script, we can see all the values, what was the HTML and page, what it looked like when it was returned. We can add also validation. So for example, to make sure that the response we were looking for actually happens in the playback. So we can add validation to validate the values. And also we can add parameterization, which is changing the hard-coded values that were used in the recording with parameters. So we can use parameterization manager and add parameters that are coming from file, for example. And once we're happy with it, we can run the session and make sure that it's uh, doing what we wanted it to do. We inspect that indeed the session was running as we intended to. The next step is to run the session under load, and then we go into the workload console. In the console, we select which script we want to run. We select how to distribute the load across load generators. Those can be either local to the network or they can be cloud-based machines that will automatically start up. We define the load schedule we want to, to be executed. And we can define server-side monitoring based, uh, depending on our backend server. When the test is running, you can see a graphs of all the statistics that we have. We can add statistics we want to see about the performance of the servers and of the test. You can change the number of users within throttle control, so you can override the number of currently running users. While the session is running, we can go over to the dashboard to the same session that it's running. The dashboard allows us to see the currently running session and previously run sessions in a web-based uh, format, so it's easy to share and to view remotely. Uh, using the dashboard, you can compare to the previous run sessions and search for interesting patterns. And, and finally, we have Webload Analytics, which is where you can analyze the data and create reports from it. We have many, many predefined reports you can use. And once you're happy with the, your report, you can generate, uh, you can publish it, something like a PDF or a Word document. That's it. Thanks for watching. We have other videos that drill down a bit more. This was very quick. If you want to know more, uh, contact us. Thank you. Bye-bye.